Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Encinitas. We're the daily podcast that gets you started on the right foot and always with a positive vibe. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Friday, February 9th. You'll be interested to know, today is National Pizza Day. Believe it or not, before World War II, pizza was largely unknown outside Italy and its immigrant communities. From a niche cultural dish, this cheesy delight has transformed into a global sensation, making it the star wherever it's served. So let's celebrate pizza's remarkable journey today and scarf some za. Now let's check out the weather in the Encinitas area. This morning we got light showers and 50 degrees with four mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 5.27 p.m. and it will rise again tomorrow at 6.37 a.m. It looks like we're in for some showers before 10 a.m. Then partly sunny with a high near 56 and east wind five to 10 mile per hour. Chance of precipitation is 30%. New rain amounts of less than a 10th of an inch possible. Tonight, partly cloudy with a low around 50 and west wind 10 to 15 mile per hour. In the surf report, Friday sees a decrease in size with cleaner conditions. Expect waves from waist to chest in the morning. Over the weekend, a fading northwest swell offers waist to chest high waves, improving later Sunday with a new long period northwest swell. Next Monday and Tuesday, anticipate fun waves in the chest to head high range. In Encinitas and North County, it's looking rough at two feet in the morning with a very short window of rideability before 10 a.m. The good news is the weekend brings some normal looking surf once again. The first high tide Friday will be seven feet around 8 a.m. with a low tide at minus two feet around 3 p.m. The nearshore buoy at Scripps in La Jolla reads 58 degrees for the water temperature. Looking ahead in the weather, we'll see a sunny and mild weekend ahead. Saturday brings sunshine with a high near 57 degrees and north wind shifting west in the afternoon. Nighttime will be mostly clear, dropping to around 47. Sunday and Monday continue with clear, sunny skies, highs near 59 degrees, and nights remaining mostly clear, with lows close to 47. Looks like we are getting back to normal. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning sent you. In local news, in early 2025, San Diego will see the groundbreaking of Revel, a 40-story residential high-rise near Peco Park. This development, located at 611 Island Avenue, is set to offer 443 homes. Designed by Carrier Johnson, the building integrates the historic 1869 Clobber Weingenheim Company building, currently occupied by ballpark storage. The developers aims for a community-centric, environmentally conscious design, focusing on San Diego's climate action goals. Unique features include on-site EV charging, reduced parking to encourage alternative transport, secure bike storage, and a rooftop terrace with a pool. Art from local artists will be showcased, and the facilities will have a LEED Silver Energy certification. The developer emphasizes the project's role in urbanizing and enhancing San Diego's lifestyle. Now on to sports. Super Bowl 58, airing on CBS, and Paramount Plus, promises a spectacular viewing experience. 
despite not being broadcast in 4K on Paramount+. Set in Las Vegas at Legion Stadium, the event will deploy an impressive array of technology, including a record 24 cameras with 4K zoom extraction capability. These high-tech cameras enable super slow motion replays and crystal clear zoomed images. Additionally, CBS is introducing 20 cameras embedded in end zone pylons, featuring six doing cameras inside uprights for an unprecedented view of field goals and extra points. Augmented reality cameras, totaling 23, will integrate graphics into CBS coverage and Nickelodeon's SpongeBob SquarePants themed broadcast. In total, CBS will use 165 cameras, ensuring comprehensive coverage from multiple angles, crucial for accurate play reviews. In the NBA last night, the Lakers at home against the Nuggets lost 114 to 106. Tonight, the Lakers remain at home to play the Pelicans. And in the NHL, the Ducks are back at it, playing at home tonight against the Oilers. In top news, in a notable shift, some economists are revising their 2024 economic forecast, reducing their prediction of interest rate cuts from nine to just two. This change is driven by the robust performance of the U.S. economy defying earlier expectations of a recession. Recent data, including January's impressive job growth and strong GDP figures for the end of 2023 and early 2024, have prompted this revision. Some now anticipate a steady unemployment rate and suggest the Federal Reserve might delay rate cuts till later in the year to avoid reigniting inflation. Despite this optimistic outlook, some caution that economic risks remain though a mild recession is no longer the expected baseline for 2024 or 2025. In the stock and crypto markets, Promthium, a new entrant in the cryptocurrency industry, is taking a distinctive approach by seeking approval to operate as a special purpose broker dealer and alternative trading platform for digital asset securities. This strategy is in contrast to major crypto exchanges like Coinbase and Kraken, which are pushing for changes to existing regulations. Promethium's plan to offer custodial services for Ether could compel the Securities and Exchange Commission to reassess Ethereum's legal classification, possibly seeing it as a security. This potential reclassification stems from SEC Chair Gary Gensler's recent comments suggesting that most cryptocurrencies, except Bitcoin, might be securities due to their investment-focused nature. This perspective differs from the Commodity Futures Trading Commission's views, highlighting a regulatory divide. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is nearing 45,300, Ethereum is about 2,400, and Solana is almost $103. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now back to the show. Let's talk science. In a groundbreaking development, scientists have potentially revolutionized electric vehicles by extending their range. Currently, EVs can travel about 435 miles on a single charge. The new research published in Advanced Science suggests using a special gel could increase this to 620 miles. 
This breakthrough involves microsilicon particles and gel polymer electrolytes. Silicon, known for high energy storage, expands during charging, posing a challenge. But the new approach uses micrometer-sized silicon with a gel electrolyte enhancing battery stability and increasing energy density by 40%. This innovation could make EVs even more attractive and environmentally friendly. And in entertainment news, Grammy-winning DJ Tiesto has unexpectedly withdrawn from his historic Super Bowl performance due to a family emergency. Scheduled to be the first in-game DJ at the Super Bowl, he was set to play during warm-ups and breaks at Las Vegas Allegiant Stadium. Announcing his decision on social media, Tiesto emphasized that family comes first, despite the difficulty of missing this significant event. The NFL, collaborating closely with Tiesto, expressed understanding and looks forward to future projects with him. But there is still some good news. This year's Super Bowl will feature Usher as the halftime headliner, with pre-game performances by Reba McIntyre, Post Malone, and Andra Day. Well, alrighty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from Reba McIntyre. And the country singer said, to succeed in life, you need three things. A wishbone, a backbone, and a funny bone. And that's a wrap for this week. We did it. Keep an eye out tomorrow for a bonus episode. Have an amazing weekend, my good friends. Stay safe and enjoy yourself to the fullest. We'll be back soon with another Sunny Mornings podcast. Thanks for tuning in.